So in Green Bay, prepare to show an ID when taking yard waste to Green Bay's yard waste centers. As Chris Schuler shows us, the city wants to make sure only its taxpayers get to use what they're paying for. At this yard waste center on Green Bay's west side. Uh, can I just see something? Every person pulling in to drop off yard waste needs to check in. Making sure everybody at this dump is a Green Bay resident because taxpayers are losing money from out-of-towners. As the city does what it can to make sure only residents use this taxpayer-funded facility. You just have to verify that you're a City of Green Bay resident. That's all we're asking. Pierlot says the process is part of an important cost-saving measure because the quicker this yard fills up, the more money he has to spend to process it all. The more material we get, especially stuff that isn't supposed to be here, that's more cost for the city. Perlot says it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars annually to run the city's two yard waste centers. And with falling revenues because of the coronavirus pandemic, he's making sure non-residents and contractors are turned away, a policy infrequently enforced in the past. If we have the people our intention is to do this with great regularity. On day one of the policy, over 20 vehicles were turned away and city residents we spoke with liked the change. I've seen contractor stuff dump here before. Yeah, it's, I, I think periodically checking is a good thing. So if you're coming here, make sure you can prove you're a Green Bay resident. Pierlot says it's the policy moving forward and it will be enforced. Reporting in Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thanks, Chris. Pierlot says waste processed from outside the city limits costs Green Bay around $130,000 a year.